Hello and welcome to part 11 of my informative playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker. And you'll actually notice that uh, all I did was uh, pause the video and um, um, <laughs> restart a new one. I am basically continuing where we left off. So, we have got things with concealment here. And good thing we've got uh, Melly here in her spellbook. She has this fairy fire. And um, if we bring up the info, fairy fire, outline creatures do not benefit from concealment. So concealment is come from spells like blur there, and displacement, which is like better blur, grants full concealment. If something's got blur, um, it's got a 20% miss chance. If it's got displacement, it's got a 50% miss chance, as um, improved invisibility gives the benefits of blur as well as others. So this, for a level 1 spell, this is really handy because we get lots of things with uh, uh, concealment and full concealment. Unfortunately, we've only got one memorized. But we're probably going to have to rest halfway through this anyway, because this is tough. How cute! Okay, let's just grab this before we buff up. These took another dryad. These are what we're looking at. Primal Giant frog, Fog, so Blur, permanently, you know, modest stats, these are probably the easiest enemy here, rubbish armor class, there we go, <laughs> they look like a sort of 200 pound frog, I'm listening. so we're going to try Everywhere and take this go, relatively, hangs over uh, everything. Um, though people say it was better before I arrived, thanks, thanks Sarum. I am machine. We're gonna lure them to us. I don't tolerate threats. There we go. Bard song. Onwards. Yeah, so it means she's still gonna get she's not gonna be flat footed at least. So we're gonna have to get our flanking bonuses. We're not gonna use a uh, single fairy fire. Gonna demoralize. We're gonna flare. Run. And we're gonna demoralize. You offend me. We're gonna bring Aaron forward. See Your whether he can fit in when he's not big. One dead. Let us strike as one. Let's see. Yes, he's not gonna be able to fit in, is he? Let's let it play out in real time. Let's turn off Bard Song. There we go. And we can advance now for this last one. And everyone can just attack. This is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> okay. We want to absolutely stay out of this horrible pool, which is cursed, and that will give us nausea. Well, in fact, I'll just demonstrate it. There we go. Gives off a strange nauseating smell. Basically, this whole place is 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 cursed. So, if we go in, there we go. Nausea. Oh, sorry, sickened. I should say minus two on attack rolls, weapon damage roll, saving slow. Sickened is a really nice debuff if you can get it on something else. This is my time to now, shine. I'm gonna. That's not gonna work, is it? We're going to fight over here. It's just a the dangers don't frighten me. Arrange things properly. I am yours to command. Sorry, the um, me. We no are going to get big. Here I am. See. A sweet smile, a gentle voice, and kind words will help me win their hearts. And, and we're gonna if go that fails, I'll use my sharp well. nails instead. I'll take care of it. Yeah, see, I don't wanna. It's it's difficult, isn't it? it balancing buffs, but basically, where are we? A simple smile goes a long way. Let's see how this works out. So Just Lindsay the is gonna cast grease there. Yes. And Adventures are Alice exciting. here. 
he's going to drop an entanglement and hopefully we'll see this play out here we go entangled reflex they've made and let's just make sure we're properly arranged without getting entangled ourselves or Okay, reflex save made. One's fallen. That's nice, isn't it? So, you can let it play out. Do not falter. Everyone can attack. In this fact. Is where I step in. Hopefully this one will stay over. down. While we finish. No. Onwards. And we've got... Strike. We're all, all in time. This me. is quite bad here, because he's snuck over this side. We'll leave Let's Valerie there, and we'll activate Rage, see whether we can get apart. some Rage there. Increase her chance to hit while she's hiding behind Aram. Away, you rascal! Actually, is it shaken? Nope. So, demoralize. Down. Little bit of damage. Don't hold and carry back. on. He's tripped. That really sucks. Seventeen. And could be worse. And we'll be yeah, so problem is, be. he's auto set to stand back up. So we really. Concealment. And he's down, but we'll heal him up. Hopefully, he won't take another hit. Serves you right. Burning through a rage quite considerably. You deserved it. Well, we're almost there. Yeah. And we'll see. This we just finished off. Well, that last one wasn't so bad. Poor guy. Falling on the floor. At least he didn't die. He went down to minus 10, which is getting close. Let's heal up. It's going to burn through our, our resources here. And the next encounter what you want. is fatigued for a minute, unfortunately. It's the price you pay. This is uh, Erastal statue, stag god. Let's see whether we can do this one a bit smarter. So, is there trouble? We're gonna need. I wrote it like I saw it. Weapons, spells. It's gonna last two minutes. This is acid more, so this a bit more damage. Shame one life is not enough to master them all. So a bit of chat there. Strength on Amiri and strength on him. Still got bless up for 46 seconds. I've been told if someone annoys you, you either pray or polish and your armor. Was called for. It is why my armor gleams as it does. What troubles you? What we're gonna try and do is trip. What? No, sorry, not trip. Um, Any last wishes? Who will prevail? Does it matter? I'm going to try and position a grease right in front of Valerie there. To hopefully made its reflex save. Bring it! But it does what mean these two are capable of firing 20. Is that a yeah. What's its attack bonus? Plus 12 versus 26. We'll turn on defensive fighting and see what we can do. 
We want to demoralize it to debuff and we want to flare it. Although, fortitude save is a bit high. So what we'll do is we're going to just fairy fire there. And this is where I step in. And see whether we can get this little kitty forward. So fairy fire there has removed its blur. And we've got a couple of really nice hits in. I believe. If I can get the inspect to pop up. It's shaken. Yeah, that's good. But it will expire time soon. Is over. We will just carry on going Strike. there and see. Nice miss. Almost. Oh, that's so tense. So tense. There we go. Right. And. Lindsay, you can stop singing. And you notice that uh, Valerie is uh, fairy fired as well. That uh, is a, a, a <laughs> occupational hazard because it's got a small um, AOE. So yeah, sweet. Now, what we're going to do? No time for idling. Is we are going to miniaturize uh, Valerie. Because we've got this bear-like treant up here. Yes, I'm still here. We'll reapply blur. We'll give the cat shield of faith. And I done with waiting. Don't hesitate. Just letting the ink dry. It's not that many options. I'll share my path. Yeah, but this is the the boss. It's got AC twenty two, so Give the order. what we can do is this we, didn't work. I must be we can well, just go for it straight apart. away, <laughs> and hopefully everyone will hide behind oh, sorry. Valerie. There, oops. Onwards. It's time to act. We're gonna try Can't and demoralize back. it. Anything is possible. We're just gonna get Lindsay to sing. Friendship lasts. And we're going to fire a load Away, of magic rascal. missiles at it in the hope of doing some guaranteed damage. Lindsay, you can just burn Fair through some of that right. wand. Hopefully we'll get it taken out. And hopefully we'll get a nice big hit in before it kills someone. True strike. Crit on Valerie. Come on, Aaron. Show us what you're worth. Let's see. Avenge me. Yeah, she's down, but that's okay. If we have a little look. Yeah. It's got damage reduction, cold iron, um, five, and all we've got is that cold iron dagger, so which we're not using. Um, this AC is good, but not um, catastrophic, um, and and we can't see what its what its attack bonus is at the moment. So <laughs> I will just play this out really slowly. Yeah. Poor old cat. So. 18 I'll take but that's that's it that's our and we'll go with a bone shaker because he's in second row so we shouldn't be hit this will probably kill the cat no there we go no better combat So we um, we get a bit more more information. Yeah, I, oh, see. We still don't know what, what it's what we can do is we can just bring up uh, 
there. It had an attack bonus of, of 15. Um, 13 was shaken. Size penalty. It's a massive strength bonus. It's 40 strength or something to get a... a, a no, um, 10, 20, 30 strength. I think that is to get that. Um, so, yes. <laughs> Trying to defeat that at level 2. You're, you're hitting reload a little bit. So we're almost at the end of this video is, has overrun quite considerably, but we're going to save Tristan here. Your aid came at just the right time, stranger. My name is Tristian. I'm a priest of merciful Serenray. Another moment, and I fear I would have been on my way to her chambers somewhat earlier than my destiny requires. Hmm. So, uh, yes, um, a priest of Saren Ray. This is sort of god of goddess of sort of how everyone should be really nice to each other and do lots of healing. And he's kind of specced as a as a healer. So we we're gonna say that this local nymph directs us here. You know, what's up with the fog? What's up with the druid? What's up with this strange beast? I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. And what do you know? We've defeated all four groups of beasts. Praised be Saren Ray. Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. <laughs> Perhaps somewhere more hospitable? And, uh, yeah, Alice, she's so nice that she's gonna offer to heal him, as I guess most people would if they'd encounter somebody mauled by a, a bear-like treant. I am a priest of Saren Ray, and a skilled healer. I have done all I can, but it will take some time for my strength to return in full. But worry not, I will make my way to the trading post nearby and wait there as I make my recovery. But, uh, how on earth did you get here, mate? I was investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Serenray, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast's teeth. <laughs> I think he's mentioned how uh, he serves Serenray like every 10 seconds in this initial conversation. Every, <laughs> yeah, there. There. There, yeah. I, I think we got a picture, Tristan. <laughs> and, and he's absolutely, like, you know, he's a, a, an ar a cleric archetype that is terrible in melee combat. He can't wear armor. Um, he, and he's got, you know, stats not spec'd. And he come here thinking he's going to defeat these beasts. Answer is no. He's good at holding this little certain rate icon, though. <laughs> anyway, with those beasts dead, I have other matters to attend to. Farewell, Tristian. Please wait. You saved my life. I have no treasures or relics, but I have knowledge and the divine power of a priest. I wish to aid you in your journeys. Well, that's very nice of you. Alas, my wounds won't allow me to join you right now. I will travel to the trading post. I hope to be able to repay you for my life once I recover from these wounds. So there's a there's a sort of um, uh, mechanic in the game that depending on which companion you encounter first, because Tristian is is a companion, the, the, some of them you'll be able to recruit directly into your, into your party, the, the early ones you encounter, and the later ones you um, will, will go off to Oleg's and you won't actually be able to integrate them into, into your party. So if we'd come here first, we would have gained um, Tristian for our party, which would have been cool. But since we come here later, we get Harem, which is even cooler, because he's better, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Tristian is is very much spec to um, channel, whereas Aram is spec to bop people on the head and cast necromancy spells. So off he goes. And um, let's just check. Yeah, out here. Yeah. So I'm going to end the video now. And, um, um, yeah, see you in the next video.